Hi everybody, I'm here at Flowerstone Frame with the new artist in the gallery for the month of June and his name is Mike Warren and we're going to meet him and look at some of his artwork, get a little preview. His show, if you want to come and meet Mike and see his artwork and ask him questions about it, is tomorrow night, which is the 4th, <laughs> from June 6 4th. till 8th, June 4th, Saturday night from 6 till 8 o'clock and he'll be here to meet you. And it's a really good opportunity to meet the artist. I have people come into the store um, during the month that say, you know, oh, does he use pictures for this? Does he, uh, was he at this place or that place? Or how does he use his medium? And I don't know the answers to all those questions, but it's really fun to come and have a conversation with Mike about that. So stop by and have a treat with us and see the gallery. And I'm gonna show you some of the work and talk to Mike. So, okay, let's go over here. Okay, so, I'm in. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, Mike, your work that we're showing this month is called the Summer Series? Yes. The, we've got uh, kind of two collections here. We've got the Summer Series on the big wall and the west, some of the Western work that I do a lot of on the other uh, rack. So we'll look at both of them. Yeah, and this is a great way to break into summer because I love now you have all children, right? Children enjoying summer. Like, I don't yeah. see any adults in these ones. You oh, have, no. You have some in summer this series that kids. are beach. You had some beach ones with some adults, and some of yeah. your figure work is yeah, but older they're, people. But. They're, uh, well, I mean, the bottom line is, is these are all my grandkids. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I use them as, you know, they line up to be my model for the next uh, painting that I work on. But these have all been taken from, you know, they're just summer memories. I've got a whole line of them. So let's take a look at some of these. We've got a whole line of them walking. I took them all on a hike. You had to. I have so many pictures from my summer don't. with. No, but I mean, my summer with my kids that this looks just like. Like a lot of times. It's the you scene see, that you see. Yeah, you see figurative works and you go, oh, that's somebody else's kid. This, I mean, this is something that I think we can all relate to. I like the way it's, yeah. it's done that it looks like, you know, your own scenes, your own pictures of your own family. And then this little gal sitting out on the beach, she was just determined to stay out there till it was dark. So, you know, I had to beg her to come back in. It was getting cold and windy and there was no stopping her. So these are all just, you know, a lot of what I do is just, I just paint happy memories. Oh, I'm with the hose. Kid I even have baby pictures of me like that. Drinking them from the hose. and. The kids with their flip-flops, of course one of them lost one, so there's three blue ones and one pink one. So your pieces are done in oil? They're all done in oil. Um, I use a brush. Do you ever work with acrylics? Do you do them all in oil? No, I never use acrylics. I, I used to use uh, watercolor, but I've kind of just landed on oils because I can mix them better and I like them better. They smell better. Oh, okay, yeah. And then they get all over my hands better. Yeah, it's just more there. tactile, right? You're more of a yeah. sensory person. I right. like the butterflies. Do yeah, and these, butterflies? these bigger ones, these are kind of, uh, you know, the kids in the summer have a lot of imagination. So they're, they're flying, they're up there with the butterflies. I like the energy in these ones. And yet there's still that um, subtle palette that you have that I think is easy to incorporate into your, your house, yeah, your home, nothing. your surroundings. It's still serene that way, and yet there's this fun energy. Yeah, there's no neons and you know, <clears throat> real bright colors. And a lot of times I leave a lot of details out. I want, I want them to be uh, imaginary. I want you to... Right. And this one feels a little different that way because of the energy in it and the pattern. Yeah, like I yeah, like the I, pattern in it too, but there's um, action. You know, this one, this one was just uh, my son throwing his son at the pool, and uh, I added all the tile. I thought, you know, let's uh, let's yeah, take it to I a, like it. Let's make it a Roman bath instead of a <laughs> dusty swimming pool. Oh, it's great, and the way that blue really grounds it. Yeah, and one thing you notice when you come and see Mike's work up close is that you still see these pencil marks in it. And I had a, um, I tell my kids in my art class all the time that I had a professor who told me I overwork things. They like when I would draw things with mm -hmm. pencil, but they're like, but then you lose that freshness, that 
that yeah. you know life to it when you overwork it and overwork it. And so I love seeing that. When, I'm like, he figured that out. Yeah. Well, what happens when I get to paint is I uh, I get really energetic. I mean, it's like the it's like the uh, paintings themselves, and I'm throwing paint and brushing, and there's lots of gaps and spaces left between the paint because the gesture of the paint sometimes is is the answer i'm looking for not necessarily the, the hard shape that it's trying to fill although i usually do a pretty detailed sketch underneath oh really yeah the sketches are quite detailed do you oftentimes. do you keep a sketchbook or are your photographs kind of a I, sketchbook? I use photographs as the sketchbook because the sketches are on panels and they end up getting painted over yeah yeah, because so. I've done sketchbooks and then have to like project or something to make them huge because my paintings are bigger, mm -hmm. but I have to like refine and refine and refine yeah. in the sketchbook and, and, and then go, how am I going to get this huge and have yeah. to use the tricks and, and I, to uh, do that. Yeah, I build it big and then sketch it in detail and then paint over the top of it. All right, right. well, let's take a look at some of these two. I'm going to turn this around because sure. I think it might be easier to see. So these are some of his western and landscapes. So what influenced these ones? I've seen well, a lot that you've done. You know, these is very similar to what I do with the kids, you know. Uh, these are places I've been and, and things that have meaning to me. And, oh, yeah. and I, I paint primarily from photos. I take mostly my own references. Every now and then I'll use someone else's reference. Like this black bull here. He was a part of a herd of, I don't know, there were probably 50 retired rodeo bucking bulls that a neighbor of mine had, and I'd go out and shoot pictures of them all the time, and he just had such an attitude, I had to catch that. <laughs> He's looking right at you in that print, too. And he just this, really makes eye contact. Then this crazy-eyed longhorn, we were out uh, <laughs> in this southern Utah, just up in the, on the ranch property, and she just stuck her head up from behind a barn, and Gave us those wild-eyed looks. I think that's funny. It's called crazy eyes because we always say that. We have one daughter that we go, oh, it's crazy eyed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, and then the desert scenes and... This is, uh, this is just down at the pond at daybreak. Oh, okay. I was These like... are the geese out on the ice. And so... Uh, Okay. Yeah, I liked it it's just, yeah. just as the light was coming up. So. It's nice that these are like local places that we Lots know of, of too. I do a lot of local. Like the uh, brush marks in here. A lot of you. Yeah, and there's a lot of brush activity in there. there yeah. are. It gives it a lot to look at. And then over here, there's a couple longer pieces. Oh, I have a friend who's going to love your horse pieces. So okay, so the, those are gorgeous. This one is the Onakui wild horse herd out west of Salt Lake. Okay. Just out in the water. And I, uh, the photo is a, is a daylight photo, but I just thought it looked night, better as a night photo. So oh, I turned yeah. it, I, I had these two. Gives you night vision. Horses, and this is a little more abstract, but just a bunch of horses just in the long grass. Well, this is great. Well, now I feel about. like, I feel like this hasn't been a preview. I feel like you guys have seen the whole show now. You've seen everything that's up here, but you haven't seen it up close. And it changes. <laughs> it changes it. And it really is fun to have people come and, and converse and meet the artists. It's encouraging for artists, too. We like to hear what stands out to people about our artwork. Oh, yeah. And so if you can make it down even for a minute, come down to the reception tomorrow night and meet Mike. So I'm not scary or anything. <laughs> It'll be fun. Okay, thanks. thanks. Thanks, Mike.